Hello, I'm Athena Vlahantoni. I'm Professor of Gerontology and Social Policy at the Department of Gerontology in the University of Southampton. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our programs, Masters in PhD in Gerontology and the Masters in Global Aging and Policy. The Department of Gerontology is a postgraduate only department in the Faculty of Social Sciences at the University of Southampton. You can visit us and explore our website and find out more about the types of research that we conduct and the programs that we offer. Our department sits alongside the Center for Research on Aging in the Faculty of Social Sciences and all our staff are engaged in research and teaching on postgraduate gerontology programs at the MSc and PhD level. In the most recent assessment exercise, Gerontology came fifth in the UK in the area of social policy and administration. That's really important to us because research regularly feeds into the teaching that we undertake. So why should you study aging? Aging relates to a number of different areas which are of interest to social scientists from different disciplines. For example, they relate to research methods training, to the life course, to the provision and receipt of informal care. They relate to policy agendas on healthy aging and patterns of change in terms of relationships and intergenerational support. An example of why aging is important is on this slide. This is a population pyramid for China from 1950 and projected all the way to 2100. And you can see that the projection is that the population pyramid will change from a beer pyramid into what looks more like a beehive. And finally, there will be both a shrinking of the size of the overall population, as well as a, a, a narrowing down of the bottom of the pyramid. The implications of these changes in the population, as well as the changes and differences between the two genders are important for policymakers, for families, and for individuals alike. In the Department of Gerontology, we offer two types of programs. We have the MSc Gerontology face-to-face, -face, which offers a research or optional pathway. It is composed of six modules plus the dissertation. And examples of those modules include aging, health and well-being, and quantitative and qualitative research methods. We also offer this program by distance learning with a similar structure and a wider range of option modules, for example, in mental health and aging or poverty and social protection across the life course. We also offer the Masters in Global Aging and Policy by distance learning, which offers the chance to students to specialize in policy evaluation in aging societies, as well as specialize in research methods. So there are modules that focus, for example, on policy evaluation and aging in specific parts of the world, such as Sub-Saharan Africa. How is the distance learning program different from the face-to-face -face program? We offer an online course which prepares students for uh, their dissertation. We offer engagement through online student discussion boards and all of the learning material is available online from the very first day of the semester. So students can access it in a flexible way that works for them. Our program is really distinctive in two areas. The first is thinking about the social policy implications in everything that we teach. And the second is a focus on specializing in research methods training, whether it is qualitative methods, quantitative methods, or both. What do the students say about our program? Let me read out one quote from this. I was always interested in social policy and I wanted to expand my knowledge in specific fields such as poverty, pensions and social care provision. Another one says, I find studying long distance really exciting. I can stay at home, I can be in my bedroom or I can be at the beach when I do my reading. I can look up in the middle of the night and study then. It is up to me. Our students are based all around the world in different time zones and our program team do an excellent job keeping in touch 
and supporting students throughout their studies. For next academic year, we are offering a full scholarship starting in 2021, which is open to applicants classed as international fee applicants, EU nationals residents in any EU country or UK fee applicants with a minimum of a 2-1 degree. We also offer bursaries for applicants with a 2-1 degree, for UK applicants and also for EU nationals resident in an EU country. The application takes place online and it has to be accompanied by references, a personal statement and also an English language requirement. Finally, let me give you some examples of the ageing related research that we undertake within our research team. For example, most recently on changing living arrangements during COVID and well-being, specifically mental well-being, global ageing and long-term care, pension protection for minority ethnic groups, understanding resilience in later life, acceptability and satisfaction with social care and the impact of migration in China and South Africa. You're welcome to visit our website and read more about our research projects, past and present. So if you're interested or if you have any questions at all, you can visit us on our website or you can email me at a.flahantoni at soton.ac.uk. I look forward to hearing from you.